welcome to night one, surprisingly early night one, of week number 145 of my global cooking challenge. We are, uh, tonight we're cooking the St. Lucia, uh, the uh, second of our uh, five out of six saints, five out of six, uh, I mean, two out of six saints, two out of six island countries in a row. So hey Germany, thank you for joining us. Uh, tonight we are cooking a shrimp and creole sauce, and uh, if there's time we'll be making plantain chips also. Yes, hello, good to see you. Um, I'm listening to uh, the one artist I could find that was specifically St. Lucian. Um, had a little trouble finding others, which is kind of a problem. Well, let's flip you around. Hello, that was a dangerously close up. Okay, let's make that a little better. Hello, yes. So that's what we got. Um, sitting here printing out the stuff. Uh, let me take care of that later. And, uh, but I really need to find more St. Lucian music. And, uh, wow, this is not easy. Um, wow, 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 wow. Wow. Uh, I'm just trying to, uh, get more of these albums. St. Lucia we love, that's what we got. Okay, uh, more, more of you. Hold that thought, I'm gonna put you down for a second. Look at this guy. Right Hello, okay, that should do it for now. So let's get going, we got a lot of prep and I'll explain the story of this dish and why I'm doing it and why I'm doing it tonight in a moment. Maybe as people start arriving. I like this, I don't mind this. It's a little techno-y, a little... Caribbean. Uh, has anyone been to St. Lucia? Probably on a cruise. I've been to St. Lucia. It was lovely. It was really very nice. I'll tell the story of my booze cruise in St. Lucia later. Um, because it was fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get you so you don't fall over. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let me get my, um, and again, I'm not wearing my contact, so I can see close up. I've got a new prescription. Hopefully we'll figure this sucker out later. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the Creole sauce. Uh, the story is that while well, I sharpen the knife here, uh, let me get um, some water for this. Hold on. That is not what was supposed to come next. Oh, nuts. Now I know what happened. Okay. Terrific. Oh, well. We'll live. Uh, knife. I'm going to try to sharpen the sucker. Uh, this is going this way. This way. This way. And then that way. That way. That way. This way, this way, this way, and that way, that way, that way. Okay. And then home. I got my little sharpening thing. Yeah, today's been... It's been. I decided to do this earlier today. So uh, that's why there wasn't a whole lot of notice in uh, how um, I was making uh, when I was doing this earlier. So I apologize for that. But we're going to get started making our Creole sauce, and like I said, I uh, will tell the story of how I came to be making this, and be making it today, just shortly. We're going to start out with, as with everything, with an onion. Everything in the world starts with an onion. And now that I knew my candy dandy technique, I can actually cut things quickly. Who is the other... Fine. Uh, Crystal. Hello, Crystal. Thank you for uh, being here. Um, so, the story of this is that um, I grew up with uh, young, uh, well, the, the family friends. And uh, the father was British, uh, who was raised in Argentina. So that meant he spoke English with a British accent and Spanish with an Argentinian accent, which was kind of crazy. So he made these great Argentinian uh, dinners and uh, such on the barbecue grill. And his wife 
was a British woman from St. Lucia. She was born in... Uh, hello, thank you for the like and restream, Crystal. Um, very much appreciate that. Uh, but uh, she was from... Uh, born and raised in St. Lucia. Uh, I knew she was from somewhere in the Caribbean. I didn't know exactly where. Uh, until I was in St. Lucia, coming off a cruise, and um, the family friend, now, you know, decades later, I have not seen her in, in many years, um... Uh, posted on Facebook saying, oh, you know, you passed my, my mother's apartment. So it was right there in Castries, which is the capital. And uh, I had a lovely time, met the loveliest people. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I asked her for advice on um, uh, what I should cook, you know, in tribute to her mother, who is sadly no longer with us. Um, and she got kind of wistful, uh, remembering her mom, because it's, you know, your mom. And, um, she said, uh, here, she used to make this shrimp and creole sauce. Um, I remember her mom, just, just a beautiful, beautiful, lovely woman. She, um, there was a point that, uh, they got, um, the parents got jobs as translators. He has been to Spanish and her creole. Um, she helped translate uh, English to Creole for people in Miami. Um, so, uh, yeah, so she used to make this dish, and so I'm making this in honor of her. The, uh, the daughter sent me the recipe and said, this recipe is close to what she'd make, but instead of using chicken stock, um, she would use uh, tomato sauce to thicken the, uh, the sauce. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm using. And... Um, then, um, and also to add shrimp, to just put shrimp on the end and to make it with, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, um, rice, put rice, just put it on top of rice. Also, while I was shopping today, um, I saw a bag of plantain chips and I was thinking, it's been a while since I've had plantain chips. And I thought about getting a bag and just like dropping them on the plate. And I said, well, you know what? They've got plantains here. I can fry it myself. Uh, I mean, the whole object here is to cook, right? So I have not deep fried plantain chips, but I have one plantain sitting back there. And I'm just like, you know, a little girl going, oh, David Cassidy likes me. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, when you travel the world, I mean, he has very specific taste in music, as, you know, most people do. Stories are great. <laughs> Thank you, Germany. I, I, I aim to please. So, um, three quarter cup. That's like that much. Okay. Let's see. Um, the uh, I was saying something, um, and I totally forgot. Uh, oh yeah, the music thing. Um, you know, he has his taste in music, as as you know, as most people do. Um, they have their likes and dislikes. But he was traveling the world. He's saying he hates the music of anywhere the rest of the world. It's always like, you know, he th he thinks it's all either like whiny or or bangy, um, bang bang or fine wine, and he didn't, doesn't like any of it, because he's usually stuck in a bus somewhere for 24 hours trying to get across the country while they're playing it, you know, really, really loud over their system. So I'm sure that would drive me bananas also. Uh, but this is making me, reminding me of his, you know, talking about that, which is why I bring it up. Shut up. Uh, too deep. Uh, thank you for the like and restream. Um, let me see who you are. So, uh, too deep extreme. Thank you very much. Um, let me make sure I got some juice going to you here so you don't all die. Oh my, that's a tangled cord. Okay. Da -da -da, don't die. There you go. Okay. Um, okay, we've got our celery. Now we're getting our green bell pepper. Green bell pepper. Uh, today, I actually remember to do something that I should normally do, I used to do all the time, which was I'm getting my produce. I forgot there was a produce stand nearby that they have good produce and really inexpensive. Yes, we are cooking a um, screenshot. Mm, um, the uh, a, a, a Creole shrimp over rice. Uh, and if there's time, uh, plantain chips from the nation of St. Lucia. St. Lucia in the Caribbean. So like midway down the chain from Puerto Rico to, um, 
uh, to uh, b -b 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 uh, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, like about there. And uh, I believe I didn't, I hadn't had the time to investigate all the details of the country um, so far. So as I believe it was, uh, oh yes, that's right. It was sort of like the battle point um, that uh, the French and the British and the French and the British and the French and the British kept like capturing it and taking it, and the other one took it back. And so that's kind of historically what it was known for. It has these beautiful mountains, the Pitons, which are just gorgeous. And if you're on a cruise in the Caribbean, you're likely to hit it. Um, well, is that have three legs on bottom? I assume you mean uh, my um, stand. Uh, obviously, it's in the stand, so I can't show you now, but um, I went searching and searching and searching. If you follow me on Pinterest, um, uh, I don't post much at all other than the recipes. Uh, I mean the the blogs, but in any case, I posted it as a thing. Oh, the bell pepper, yes. I'm curious why you asked. Um, but anyway, about the stand, it's um, it's like a snake, so um, I like it um, because I can uh, tilt it to uh, you can see different angles that way. But that's not what you're asking about, apparently. Uh, yes. Um, are there different uh, kinds of bell peppers with different uh, knobs on the bottom? Uh, you can uh, il illuminate me there, so uh, I'll know. This is very just straight up techno. But hey, nightlife in St. Lucia, woohoo! You know, two different global travelers that I follow, uh, one, the one who's a friend and the other who I just kind of follow who's traveling right now. He just crossed over into Benin in uh, Western Africa. Is a um, three is a female. Interesting. Interesting. I'll have to find out more about that. That's curious thought. Um, in any case, four is male. Wow, I'm gonna have to look that up. That is some interesting trivia I did not know. Um, in any case, uh, Saint Lucia, uh, cruise, um, beautiful. Um, it's just so nice, and um, Castries is the capital. Um, oh yes, the uh, Top Chef. Does anybody watch Top Chef? The uh, Nina um, Carlson, I believe her last name is. She was like the runner-up a few seasons back. She was from St. Lucia, incredible chef. Um, she was a chef at uh, One is Good for Cooking, One is Good for Salads. Really? Wow, good to know. Thank you. I will, wow, that is very interesting. I'm gonna have to look up more about that. Um, thank you for the information. Um, but uh, Nina Nina Carlson? Anyway, she was a chef at the Fontainebleau, a big fancy hotel in Miami Beach. Uh, and uh, while she was out the Fontainebleau, we hadn't moved uh, here to, back to Florida um, when th she was on the show. So I didn't have an opportunity to go to the Fountain Blue and pay a kajillion dollars to eat there while she was there. And then she left there. And then uh, every now and then I'd see that she, somewhere in town, she'd have a thing where you could come see her cook. But uh, you had to pay something like, you know, $500 or something for the night's dinner or something. And I said, well, that's not going to happen as much as I want her. Now she has moved to open a restaurant in um, New Orleans, I see. Um, and she goes back to St. Lucia all the time. And when she was cooking, a lot of her dishes were, you know, had a St. Lucian influence and they were super delicious and great and it looked really good and I wish I could get a chance to eat her food. But uh, maybe uh, next time we go to New Orleans, now that they've banned smoking in places, I can go back to New Orleans, yay. Um, okay, da -da -da. chopped green bell pepper, done. Uh, we're getting our three cloves of garlic now. Since it's three, I'm going to try to use the gizmo. We're going to try try on the gizmo here. Gizmo. Okay. Nee, nee, nee. Looks like a cannoli, not a cannoli. Um, so we're getting three, and this is going to land where? I went looking for like information about St. Lucian music, 
and talk about folk music and calypso and all this other stuff. But I was thinking, act something. There's no like compilation on like, Apple Music about music of St. Lucia and making things harder. There is an artist who is called St. Lucia, which I did not know about, who apparently has nothing to do with the country. Um, so that made it hard to find stuff, which is what I was doing one reason I was late. So, uh, two, coming on two, hit me with three, three, can I have a three, coming on three. Okay, which one are we going to attack here? You? Coño carajo. Uh, hey, Ryan, Ryan Dupre, you're my man, how you doing? Thank you for liking Restream very much. Are you yakking it up this morning on Lydia's stream about that, uh, Yahoo uh, text speak thing. Odd concept. Uh, the idea that you would create something where you can text and show video but not audio. Weird idea, but hey, cooking is awesome. Thank you, um, uh, Melon 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 Meyer sixteen. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, to the uninitiated, which uh, they're. Um, I keep looking at the stats, so I keep seeing that a good number of you are new to this, to me here. Um, the premise is that uh, I did not cook, uh, did not know, ever learn to cook, did not even step into the, yes, thank you, Ryan, um, into the kitchen uh, for 30 years after a bad, you know, almost killing myself accidentally situation. And uh, after a long and involved series of events, I wound up deciding that I was going to cook a country a week uh, using the uh, UN member states as the list. Thank you for the follow, Melon, Melon, Melon Myers 16. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, but I decided to cook a country a week uh, to learn to cook, and that would take about four years to finish up that, which would be finishing up in uh, just about a year with Zimbabwe, where, which of course has been in the news this week. Um, Okay, we got three garlic cloves, huzzah. Let me clear this off, because it's bugging me. It's bugging me. Uh, so, yeah, so we started in 2012. It is now 2015. And uh, we are on country number 143, which is St. Lucia. So, uh, I usually cook, uh, definitely cook every Tuesday. Uh, but I've been doing uh, more than one a week now. Uh, it's been two and three a week at this point. Um, so that's why I'm cooking today. Because I got the email from my friend, uh, who I grew up with, whose mother was from St. Lucia, about the dish that her mom always made. And that's what we're making. A Creole uh, sauce with shrimp. Um, so uh, she just said, yeah, make the Creole sauce and just toss the shrimp in at the last minute. So I went, I did not go to get my shrimp at the usual Publix grocery store. This time, uh, I went to the fishmonger, where they get like fresh caught fish that's, you know. So this is, uh, so I got some Carolina, you know, like basically jumbo shrimp, which they thankfully um, peeled and deveined for me, so I don't have to deal with that. Um, because I, I've done it, I don't enjoy it. It's kind of a gross experience and takes time and uh, last time I did it I did it on some frozen shrimp that I had um, and it was after that that I read how basically gross frozen shrimp is um, you know how they catch it and where they catch it and it's basically the bottom of the barrel stuff and I said oh well maybe I shouldn't get that so I'll, I'll shell out the money for the uh, the fresh you know Carolina shrimp I asked them where they got it, and that's what they said, as opposed to, you know, Indonesia on a slave ship. So, um, yakety yakety yakety, here we go with the chopped onion, uh, chopped garlic, sorry, my bad. Um, there's gonna be just basic a lot of chopping, and then everything kind of more or less goes in almost all at the same time, and then it simmers. So while it's gonna simmer, that's when I'm gonna give a shot to doing the, um, the plantain chips, which will gonna be a little bit of a surprise because I did not plan that until I was standing in the market going yeah let me look for a recipe for plantain chips St. Lucia and then I got one for basically this had sliced them up 
and then stick in the microwave. Period. End of discussion. Which, uh, I would try, but I really don't want to do that. Um, uh, I don't know why. It just seems, it doesn't seem like right to do that. I don't like using a microwave if I can avoid it. Microwave is the old cliff. Microwave I find good for heating things up, not so much for cooking things. Dude, thank you for the like and restream. My man, how you doing? How's the sea bus? Uh, we're getting a tomato here. Um, like in the sea bus, has it stopped raining? Uh, what time should I be over? Ha ha! Well, you know, let me know. Planning a trip to the uh, Palm Beach County area? You may, you may join in our live studio audience. We actually, for Russia, we had a guest uh, who enjoyed the spectacular Lee Stroganoff that we made for Russia. So, all this can be yours if the price is right. Okay, so we got our tomato. Uh, Kevin, uh, thank you for the uh, like and restream very much. Uh, screenshot. Um, we got a tomato. This is a really nice tomato too. That was from the local produce market here. Um, see, when I started this, uh, shortly thereafter, I discovered the produce stand, which is nearby. I still don't know how to chop a tomato, by the way. Um, the, uh, bit, 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 but this local pr produce stand, which is really nice. The food, the, they have a wide selection, much more than the grocery store does uh far less expensive than the you know fancy schmancy fresh market which just opened up not too long ago and uh and unlike those other places they actually have things like hot peppers i am fabulous columbus is beautiful today no humidity and blue sky i envy you i had to get up at five in the morning to get my run in because it is uh, either hot and impossible, or hot and impossible and thunderstormy. And uh, me no like. Uh, so my sleep schedule is for the birds, to put it nicely. Um, incidentally, uh, I mentioned my parents before. Uh, my cousin was on here um, a couple weeks ago uh, watching, which was nice. Uh, she had gone and watched the replay. Um, of this, because I'd been telling her about this when we uh, had a, a family function. I'm chopping these like horribly, I understand. Yeah, it's all here. Uh huh. And, um, the, uh, but uh, she went and saw my replay and was like, oh, that's so cool. And then she was on here, which was wild. And then she told my mother, and I've been telling my mother about this, but she keeps thinking I'm on television. I don't put it on down south. Um,. The, uh, sorry, Balmer, <laughs> uh, for, for the bad weather. We're, we got some kind of something happening off the coast here, too. Um, but anyway, my mother's thinking I'm on television, so she's like, are you cooking tonight? What channel is it on? I'm like, no, Mom, it's not on a channel. It's on the Internet. It's like, you know, I even like, remotely have them download the app, uh, but they're never, ever going to have a Twitter account or a Facebook account. I barred them from having a Facebook account. So, um, so when I see them, I'm going to add, you know, I mean, I'm going to sign them up for Twitter. Apparently, at Meerkat, you can sign up with just a phone number. That's what I tell. Has, can anyone verify that? Can you actually do that? Tell your mom that you're famous. Yes. Yes, I'm telling her how many people are on here. And she's like, oh, that is so amazing. Oh, what can I see? Never in a million years would I think my son would never even even visit went to the kitchen as a visitor. So in any case, I sent yesterday I sent them the link to the, the replay of the last uh, Tuesday night. And uh, it's so funny because my dad's response uh, was sort of like exactly what my response would be if I was in his position. Because I sent him the link to the replay and I said, listen, if you feel like sitting and watching two and a half hours of me cooking something here, he goes, yeah, and I could do that. And I said, yeah, that's what I, that's, that's what I would say back if I, if I were you. So I can't, I can't feel bad about that. Um, you could embed to a site. Uh, yes, I, when I do my blogs on Wednesdays, 
Um, I have pictures of everything, and I have links to the recipes, and now I have links to the replays for each one. So as a recap, he says you can watch it if you want it. So um, I don't know how to embed the you know preview thing as a video thing. Um, I don't know if that's a thing one can do. I didn't see like a direct link to do that. Uh, so could be interesting though. I mean, I'm sure that's coming in the future. Although this could be a shot of me going like this, you know, as the preview, I'm sure. So, uh, okay, parsley. We're looking for parsley. Okay. We're gonna need two tablespoons of parsley for this. Uh, and I got the fresh, fresh parsley. Sweet shot. Um, for, uh, this. And let's, uh, no, this goes here. I take all these bags to be recycled soon. They're kind of adding up. Okay. Can you see? I need to tilt. I'm sorry. I need to tilt that over so you can see all the way here. But it's very exciting. Me uh, rinsing off parsley. Good idea. You didn't realize you could do that. Um, yeah. Uh, when I asked um, when they before they you know had the upgrade where you could do all the stuff. I asked if there was a way that you could um, post it to Tumblr, and they said yes, and they sent me a link to like a code, long code, and coding, no, not not, not happening on this end. Um, I'm afraid to screw up my, uh, my theme on my Tumblr, which is what my blog is on. So, uh, because last time I changed the theme on the Tumblr, it like lost all my Google stats and stuff, so I had to start over. Hey Ben, thank you for the like and restream. Keep on trucking, man. Okay, so we've got our lovely old salad spinner again. That's a. See, I'm inclined to stick it on my head to just pop it out. Um, dude, yes, Ben, how, how's it going? How's LA? You know, I'm gonna be out that way. Um, not in not too much longer, actually. Um, for a few days, so uh, it should be exciting. Uh, that line of code is just cut and paste into a box. Yeah, that's kind of what I imagined. Um, the thing is, when I cut, and, I'm just always afraid to where do I cut and paste into the Tumblr thing, because uh, um, I'm just afraid it's going to mess something up, and then I won't know how to undo it. Indeed, you are the man. And you put up with that horrible LA traffic, which I can't imagine. I mean, I lived in DC traffic, which is, had beat out LA for the worst in the country, go DC. Um, and then Miami, which um, is one of your deadlier cities when it comes to traffic. So um, LA, I've, I've experienced this a few times traffic wise, and it was uh, not fun. It is everything that they say it is. So. And I will be there again soon. There's going to be a lot of traveling on my end uh, before too long. Um, but uh, I've arranged it so that whatever traveling I do, I'm back in time to do this thing. Although it would be hysterical finding, like, you know, some guest kitchen somewhere and, you know, doing it from some other city. There's um, these other bloggers that they, uh, they started a, a different kind of round the world cooking. Um, before I did, I didn't know that they were doing it when I started mine. Um, and But they've gone so slow that they've kind of basically gotten stuck, which happens to a lot of people. But their premise was uh, that they would make whole parties out of it. They would get lots of people, they'd invite lots of people, and they'd make lots and lots and lots of dishes. And uh, if they raise money, they'd raise money for charity as part of it. Um, and they'd spent a lot of time planning it, but now it seems like they've gone months between doing, uh, another country, so I passed them somewhere on the letter L. Uh, so they're still on Liechtenstein, and I'm all the way over here in St. Lucia. So, uh, I guess, gl uh, doing OCD competitive cooking, uh, requires, uh, endurance, I suppose. So, uh... That's where the OCD comes in. It helps you with the uh, sick Hold that thought. Okay. Okay.
I think this is two tablespoons right there. If it isn't, I'm gonna say it is. Okay. Um, I could have um, used my big chopper thing that I got. Do you think I should do that? I'm gonna try it. Um, I bought it. Uh, you may have seen it on Tuesday. Um, folks recommended this uh, thing from the walk shop. So I got the uh, vegetable cleaver right there. So um, let me hone this sucker. Uh, I sharpened it before. I tried cutting with this. I'm still not used to it. I need to look up how to do it. Um, it seems kind of weird to me. Uh, but uh, this, this stuff seems to go everywhere. And they said you can go like this. I, I guess you can. It just seems weird to me since it's flat on the bottom and not round. Um, I guess you could flip it over to drag things around. It, it just seems strange to me. And stuff does go everywhere. And again, I know, I know, I know, I know that when you're chopping herbs, you should, you know, do that last because they're fresher that way and the taste, and um, I don't have the time and patience for that, so. To any people who are professional chefs, I apologize. It's a kind of an odd dance reggae. Uh, thank you. Thank you for passing by, Ryan. I appreciate it. Good luck with the drawing, and you rock uh, musically as well as uh, in person. So, enjoy Balmer. Um, yeah, so this is our parsley, which is... Uh, how much did I miss? Ron. Hey, Ron. How you doing? Is it raining where you are yet? Ron, Ron is uh, nearby, actually. We need to get together for coffee sometime, Ron. Um, no, I am making a shrimp... Creole, uh, Creole sauce, which uh, unto which will go shrimp, and um, and I, if I have time, I'm also going to make uh, plantain chips because I was in the store. I was in the store and I saw plantain chips and I thought, oh, I can buy them and stick them on here. And then I said, why buy them when I can make them? The whole idea is here to cook, right? Using the uh, the vegetable chopper here that you recommended. So here it goes. We're cooking again in the country of St. Lucia. Soon it will be here. Yes, it's getting very, very dark where we are. Florida thunderstorms are not for the faint of heart. Um, okay, so I say that's two tablespoons of parsley right there. So let's clean this sucker off and move on. There's just a lot of chopping and prepping before it actually gets cooking here. Um, I'm not, again, not really grooving on the music, to be honest. So a kind of reggae techno. And every time you go, on a cruise, you take a shore excursion, they always have the radio on. And I, I don't know if it's like, they I, do the people there actually to listen to that much Bob Marley all the time or is it just for, you know, tourists? I, I just, I wonder. Thanks to Meerkat, I don't lose the stream like before. Yeah, that was the one and only time, oh, well, the, that was the one time I totally screwed up and that was because I didn't have Do Not Disturb turned on, which I did turn on, yay. Um, and then the thunderstorm when we were audio only, which is really weird. That happened for like two minutes. So that's the only like technical difficulties I've had being a, a streamer, at least. So scallions, we got us some scallions going. Doo -doo -doo. Got some more. Used up a whole batch uh, on Tuesday for uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, scallions, scallions, two. We're getting two scallions out. So ein, zwei, two, screenshot. Um, and we will clean those off and get a chopping on the scallions. But I tell you, that produce stand, Ron, do you know the produce stand on Indian Town Road? Um, uh, 
they're really nice before every 10 minutes I get booted. Oh, before? Uh, that's, you mean, with me? That really sucks. Um, I hope that doesn't happen again. Boo. Uh, what happens to me is I'll be watching a stream now, and everything's going fine, and suddenly I get a white screen, and so I have to, like, force put the app and then open it again. And then it actually picks up right where I left off, which is handy. Um, if I can find the stream. I was watching some unusual ones, uh, which I really enjoy seeing, the far away ones. There was a guy in Japan uh, who was, um, I, I think it was a British guy in Japan, but he was walking around buying the, like, bento boxes and stuff, and uh, that was really cool. And there's a guy somewhere in the southeast of Italy riding a Vespa. And uh, I was about the only person watching, and he's like, should I drive to the ocean? I'm like, yeah, go to the ocean. He says, well, I'm going to have to put the phone in my pocket. He's typing all this. I have to put the phone in my pocket for me to switch gears, so I'm, like, inside his pocket while he's, like, driving, you know, his Vespa to the coast just to show me the, uh, the Adriatic Sea. So that's really cool. Uh, everyone. Oh, I know, now I know there was a huge, huge problem a couple weeks ago, which started out being my fault. Um, and then it became a technical thing, which wasn't my fault anymore. Um, I didn't have Do Not Disturb turned on, which is my fault. And a call came in, and I was trying to dismiss it. And uh, somehow or other, it just kind of booted me from my own stream. And, uh, and so I started another stream. And uh, apparently I, was, uh, I had two streams going at once, but I couldn't get back into the first one. And it was audio only and technical difficulties, and it was just excruciating. Um, and that, at the end, it b booted me from the whole thing entirely, and I had to start all over again. Which is really bad. I did not enjoy that. Uh, Niv, hi! Niv, sorry! Um, thank you for the like. Um, golly gee, I hope you didn't just catch me right there in my one moment of complaining. Um, because I love me some Meerkat. I'm totally on Team Meerkat. I just did, a couple weeks ago, have a little situation, um, which was partially my fault because I did not turn on Do Not Disturb. Um, but it was bizarre being in two streams, of, you know, once. So I was watching myself as a guest in my own stream, watching from the iPad, um, on the 22nd delay, which is wacky. Um, and then everyone else was like, you know, Hold on a second with technical difficulties, which had never ever happened to me, at least so far as I know, before. So, started out being totally my fault. Scallions! So, uh, uh, but talking up, talking up Meerkat to, uh, the husband and his business, see if they can find a way to get on it also. And, um, can you confirm for me that someone can actually um, sign up with just a phone number without even a Facebook account because when I look online to go uh, log in and see you know something um, It says log in with Facebook or Twitter, and I'm thinking that's great for me not great for my parents uh, One zero R. Thank you for the like and restream. Um, I need to see what your name is so I know who I'm talking to Ron, thank you Ron. Thank you for the like and the restream uh, Gotta try to remember people's names uh, so we got our scallions. Okay, here's the fun part. Uh, thanks for the beta now I don't lose the stream. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. Um, uh, let's see now. Uh, here's the fun part. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Yes, sir. Okay, here's the deal. This recipe, now I don't know, I mean, I, all I know is what I've experienced before and I could have investigated this further, but I got busy. Scotch bonnet versus habanero. Uh, thank you for liking Restream, Ron. Thank you. Um, very much. The, uh, they look similar. They're both very hot. Um, I can, don't think I've been able to find a scotch bonnet necessarily, at least not right nearby. Um, Ron, uh, since you're nearby, you know like the, the logistics. Um, but uh, there are two uh, public supermarkets right nearby. And literally, you could walk from one to the other. They're on opposite sides of a bridge, and I don't know how to put on a pair of gloves. This is wacky. Uh, okay, thumb goes here. Okay, let's try that one more time. Um... 
Why do you not go in? It's because my hands are wet. Um, and anyway, uh, the one on this side of the bridge uh, does not believe in hot food uh, at all. It's apparently against their religion. Uh, they, no, no, the one on that side of the bridge. They don't have any hot, hot peppers at all. They have jalapeno and that's it. That's the hottest, the only, you know, hot pepper they have. They don't have scotch bonnet, they don't have habanero, they don't have Asian Thai chilies, none of the above. Uh, thanks for someone in Meerkat. Well, yes. Uh, Santos, thanks for liking Restream. Um, blah, 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 blah. um, so, ergo, the one on the other side, uh, on this side of the bridge does have habanero peppers, uh, and, and they're, and the people, the produce department say, oh, people in this neighborhood don't eat this, I'm thinking, you're in the same neighborhood. Yeah, the people on this side of the bridge don't eat this, and the people on that side do, I don't get that. It makes no sense to me. Uh, I am looking for my, here we go. So, ergo, uh, I was supposed to get a scotch bonnet for this. Uh, I could not find a scotch bonnet at the produce stand, but I did find a habanero. Uh, so, uh, menu. We are making a uh, Creole sauce with shrimp, and uh, uh, it's going to be served over rice. And uh, if there's time, making plantain chips, which should be uh, easy peasy and fast. Uh, but this. Um, the. Uh, shrimp, uh, I mean the uh, pepper, uh, scotch bonnets I know are hell hot, hot and the times I've used them they've been in weird ways, I mean weird to me, um, that, uh, hey Bobby, thanks for liking me stream, mm, screenshot, um, they have, uh, I hope I did that right, um, it said scotch bonnet, and scotch bonnets are really hot, I've used them before, and, but when I've used them, uh, it's been this weird way, uh, one of them was just basically stick the whole thing, uncut, into the dish, cook it, and then take it out. Which did not seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, what produce stand on Indian Town? Um, uh, military, just west of military. Um, there's a little strip mall there that has, you know, weird, like, tattoo something and, you know, antique something, just like everything else there. And this little produce stand, like, right in there. And they have all sorts of stuff. Um, it's not, you know, an outdoor stand. It's like a shop. But it's they have really good stuff. And they're, the, the guys who work there are, are really nice. The, uh, I think the woman who owns it is not the most pleasant person in the world. But, you know, hey, you can't have everything. Um, but the guy who's, you know, the, the one who actually does seems to do all the work is really on top of stuff. So I asked him if they had um, what you call... Banana flowers. Uh, um, I don't need them for this now. Um, however, uh, it would come up, uh, has come up before on some Asian dishes, and uh, I'd like to have the option. Uh, so, ergo, this dish says to use uh, one Scotch bonnet. Uh, actually, not one Scotch bonnet. It says to use like one third of a Scotch bonnet, um, which seems mm, silly. Uh, and we'd like hot food and we can handle hot food. So I'm taking out the seeds uh, to keep it not so hot. Um, and I'm dicing this up really small, uh, this habanero pepper. And hopefully uh, that will be spicy, um, spicy enough for us, not too spicy for us. Uh, your mileage may vary. Um, some people like the spicy food. As I mentioned before, uh, I am genetically not tuned to spicy food being Puerto Rican. Our food is very, very unspicy. Uh, if you did not know, Puerto Rican food and Cuban food are not spicy. Not like Mexican food. Very, very, very not. Um, however, at some point, when I cook bhutan, you can go to my blog uh, at cliffyland.com. By the way, you can follow here on Meerkat. Uh, follow on Twitter uh, at, at cliffyland.com, right on the apron. Uh, on Tumblr, that's where the blog is. Cliffyland.com is the Tumblr. And uh, that's where the blog is. Every Wednesday, I post uh, reviews, pictures of everything, uh, links to the recipes, and information about each of the countries. So, when I cook Bhutan, if you go there, you'll find the whole story of how Bhutan totally recalibrated me being able to handle spicy food. So, 
That's the short version. Okay, so we got our chopped up habanero pepper, and now I need to get all the hot stuff off of my hands and all of this. So maybe this way you can see what I'm doing over here. Okay, use away. If I run out of St. Lucian music, I'm gonna wind up going back to 1985, and I think that's okay. I do, not that you asked, but I do this. My OCD manifests itself in many, many, many ways. This list cooking thing being, you know, the one that you know about. But I do, um, I make lists of what exactly was on the charts any given decade ago. So if we get out of St. Lucia, we'll be back into 1985. So that's what I meant. Okay, so yay, we're, I think we're finished with all the chopping stuff. Yippee yahoo, so I can put my knife away. Away you go. This goes away too. Uh, let's put you away. We did wash you. And, okay, so uh, let's clear this out because we're going to need the counter space. Um, no, I'm going to need it for the plantain later. My bad. Okay. Um, but, uh, okay, now we just the other stuff. Tomato sauce. It says 12 ounces of tomato sauce. Um, the, uh, it said, the recipe says chicken broth. And uh, since you probably weren't here at the beginning, uh, the story of this is that I had a dear friend who I grew up with whose mother was born and raised in St. Lucia and among other things she translated um, Creole to English for people and uh, she is no longer with us and uh, but I am Facebook friends with the, the young woman who was uh, my dear friend then and I asked her was there something very special that her mom used to make uh, that she would uh, that I should make so I'm making this recipe, this uh, Creole sauce with shrimp, in her honor because this is uh, kind of what she would make. Uh, the friend pointed me at the recipe that I found online at this Caribbean website, but said that unlike the recipe posted, instead of doing, um, hey Diane, thank you for the like and restream, instead of doing the recipe uh, as it was posted, and it's also weird that the recipe um, says right there, hello. Hello, Diana. Um, that uh, that the first thing the recipe says is this is very controversial when I posted the video and I don't need people jumping down my throat for doing something non-traditionally. That's happened before. Don't need it to happen again. Um, you don't want to hear that story again. Um, I'm looking for uh, 12 ounces. Um, Shoot, I forgot how much... Oh, there. Duh. Okay. Uh, but anyway, this recipe said to use um, chicken broth. And my friend said, when she sent me the link, she says, uh, my mother never made it with chicken broth. Um, I don't know what they're talking about with the chicken broth. She would make it with tomato sauce. Uh, so that's ergo tomato sauce. So, uh, 12 ounces. They're just going to be slightly less than the two cans. So we're going to lose some of that, but hey, it happens. And we're listening to music from St. Lucia. Uh, other recipes that I wouldn't be doing from St. Lucia are, um, there's a great uh, tea, ca uh, tea beverage recipe thing. Uh, uh, okay, I got, uh, um, name, 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 name. Hector, Hector, yes, Hector, thank you for liking and restream. Um, 12 ounces we're looking for. Well, it's almost, it's almost entirely two cans. Um, but uh, Saint Lucia, that's that's what we're doing. Uh, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. Uh, I'm just keeping this in here because I may need this for something else. Okay, we've got our countertops just completely covered in stuff here. Let's get rid of that, and we'll watch you in a moment.
Okay. Uh, so after our tomato sauce, we got Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Can anyone spell that without using spell check? Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, which I use so much that I'm not sure exactly where in this cabinet it's hiding. Come out, come out wherever you are. I know. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't put it here. Can I move it somewhere else? I think. Unless, no. Still no, 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 not there. Okay, where are you hiding? You're hiding here somewhere. We are looking for a bottle. Bottle, bottle, bottle. Uh, uh, here we go. Oh, incidentally, okay, Worcestershire sauce, abracadabra. Uh, but here's the thing, not that we're cooking tonight, but if you're ever in a Latin market somewhere and you're ever making like rice and beans or making anything, go out and buy yourself some of this stuff. It's called salsa lisano, uh, lisano sauce. It's actually made by Unilever, so it's, you know, um, but it's going to be tapped away somewhere in your Latin food section or in a Latin market. It's strictly Costa Rican, but it makes everything spectacular. So, uh... Check that sucker out. Whenever I have leftovers that I'm just bored with, I put all of that on it and it's new. It's phenomenal. Um, so that was my happy discovery. I showed that to my mom and she's like, oh, I need more, I need more of that. So we're looking for one teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce. Um, and I'm gonna measure because I'm that guy. And oh boy, it's got the old drippy drippy on top here. That does not help me. Okay, here. Okay, Worcestershire sauce. I'm setting aside everything. This sounds like Akon. I don't care for Akon. Um, okay. Okay, round and round you go. Okay, we need a pep. No, I don't need Okay, next we need salt. I know it's silly to measure out the salt, but that's that's what uh, that's that's what I do. Um, oh, also a bay leaf. I need a bay leaf, and there's going to be some thyme involved here. Uh, my bay leaf is somewhere here. Now that I've uh, alphabetized, I don't spend quite as much time digging through there to find the one thing I need anymore. Okay. Though it kind of kills me that there's all these different spices that are different sizes and shapes because, you know, again, that's the OCD talking. Um, I need to get my water before this throat goes, so I'll be right back. Okie doke. Um, bay leaf. So, uh, thyme. I need three sprigs of thyme, which I'm just going to stick on a plate. Uh... We got fresh thyme uh, last week for our uh, dish from St. Kitts and Nevis. So, yay. Yay, I get to use it again before it all dries out. Uh, Thomas, thank you for the like. Thank you very much. Again, we're cooking the food of St. Lucia in the Caribbean. The piton, the pitons, you can see the... Uh, beautiful. Just Google pictures of it. Um, Trying to find the best looking sprigs here. Um, one, and uh, we'll take two, and was it three? Three. St. Lucia, we love Yeah, I get it. St. Lucia song. Got it. Yeah, that one's not so pretty. Eh, screw it. Okay, we've got our time. Uh, thank you for the like, uh, RB71. Very much. Thank you, Hector, for the like. Again, if I didn't say so before. So we've got our time, and we are almost uh, in the home stretch of the prep here. Uh, we'll get one tablespoon of butter. Uh, now I'm kind of curious that we're adding butter like that. Um, but hey, the where where the butter gets added strikes me as odd. It truly does. But um, I'm sure there's a reason for it. So. Uh, butter. This is two tablespoons uh, that I accidentally threw out the paper for on Tuesday. So, you got two tablespoons of butter. Radar. 
and uh, we have uh, one tablespoon of tomato paste. Um, oh boy, you know I saw on BuzzFeed there was this whole like hack, life hack about uh, you know since you never use the whole thing of tomato paste, um, it said to take them all and put them in um squeeze them into, you know, something in plastic and freeze them so you have, you know, different tablespoons all set aside. And I'm sorry, that's just way too much trouble for me. Uh, Jay Molina, JR, JR, hey, JR, how, thank you for liking Restream. St. Lucia, we love, uh, St. Lucia, we love, hey. Anybody have some fruity rum drinks and... And now we're back to 1985. So, so much for St. Lucia. Um... Okay, so our tomato paste, we're going with, what is it, one tablespoon? This is Kim Carnes, not from St. Lucia. Um, you know, she, she just turned, she just turned 70, like a week ago. That kind of blew my mind. Um... So, okay, we've got our one tablespoon of tomato sauce right here. And if, if, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessive about music, so. Um, among other things. But music and now the whole geography cooking thing. Alrighty. Um, we've got our butter, we've got tomato paste. We are almost there. Uh, salt, quarter tablespoon. I know it's silly to measure out your salt. I know, I know, I know. But you know, this is this told me how much, so that's what I'm going with. Okay, you just got. I'll show you all the whole mess of ingredients. So you've been patient enough to sit and watch me prep, and uh, surprisingly, you're doing well on time. Um, not like the last few times. And two tablespoons of olive oil. It said to use olive oil, so this time that is what we are doing. Uh, for this, I don't need to measure out. This is the one and only thing that I've learned to uh, get um, eyeballing. Hey, Vicky! Thank you for liking the stream. I didn't get to see you guys today. Um, hello uh, and good night. <laughs> well, I know it must be very late for you, but um, I hope I get to see you guys tomorrow. I saw you guys on, I think it was on Ben's somebody, ben stream, maybe it was. Um, uh, but I hope to see you again soon. I hope. Uh, I hope you get some rest. You've been working so hard if you're still there. Um, so, olive oil. Two tablespoons. And I think we have now officially prepped. Uh, John, thank you for the like. Uh, yay! So, uh, the only other prep that we need to do is um, to prep the plantains that we may, may be doing at the end of this. Uh, so, uh, let me show you what we got. Um, 7.15, is it? Wow, that is so, like, not now. That's wacky. Um, okay, let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. Uh, do, uh, do and Montague. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, here's what we got. Let me, uh, give you the bird's eye view. Uh, after I get rid of my garbage. Okay, so here we go. We have um, our onions, our celery, our green bell pepper, our tomato, our chopped garlic, our bay leaf salt, scallions, Worcestershire sauce, parsley, uh, tomato sauce, tomato paste, and chopped uh, habanero peppers, and our olive oil. And that's all going to be a Creole sauce. And in there, we have, in the fridge, we have the shrimp which will be added at the last minute. So, the husband is at the gym. Because you know what's gonna be cooking tonight. And uh, so 25, 35, um, 45 minutes. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, so let's get going, shall we? Let's start cooking up some Creole sauce. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what um, to cook this in. Uh, so, I think I'm going with a skillet. Uh, usually I go for the, uh, the saucepan, but this time I think the skillet may pull it off. 
So we've got uh, that one. And uh, we're going to heat this up. It's set to medium. Uh, you've heard me complain about my stupid, stupid stove before. Um, so uh, there's no medium setting, so I just have to, you know, kind of do my brain power on this and just kind of say, get somewhere in the range. Range, haha, -ha, joke. Uh, a pun a minute around here. Uh, okay, uh, so while that heats up, let me get me some drink of water. I'll be right back. Has anyone been to St. Lucia? Can we get an emoji? Can we get some emoji if you've been to St. Lucia? Maybe on a cruise or something? Because it is truly a beautiful place. And the people are damn friendly. From my personal experience, at least. Um, so, we've got our pan here. Anything, nobody? Okay. Um, I'm guessing the... Uh, the tourism board needs to do a better job than I'm guessing. Okay, so I'm putting you on this side this time. So maybe you'll get a better view. Maybe the lighting won't be quite so horrible. So we're heating up our olive oil. And uh, now I've kind of learned to use extra virgin in any case. Um, so we're heating that up. And now I've got to start taking some pictures. Uh, for the blog, which comes out on Friday. And I have to remember, at 7.15, 7.15... Um, I need to um, get the rice going um, in the cooker. In fact, you know what? I'm going to keep this warm here while I start that because last two times I need to do something in the rice cooker. I totally, totally forgot. And uh, last time I had to serve something over rice, I went through all the trouble of making the rice and then I showed it to y'all and then I forgot to put it over the rice which is what made the dish normal. So I've got my rice cooker. Really, really basic. Um, I'm not going through the trouble of making rice the old-fashioned way. Um, and uh, getting, I uh, got me some long grain rice uh, at the store. So getting a cup of that in here with two cups of water, because that's what it's served on. I have to remember at 7.15 to turn it on. Because the, the another time I made it, I went through the trouble of doing this but never turned the damn thing on. So, uh, it's a issue with me and forgetfulness. for shizzle. Okay. That's the rice. And, uh, get some water going here. And some salt in there. Just because I think you should put salt in your rice. Uh, normally I would, um, even make this with coconut water. You can make your rice with coconut, um, coconut water, which, uh, or coconut milk, which makes it super tasty and takes you right to the islands, as it were. Okay, I'm going, I'm going this way. One cup. Hey, what do you know, Billy Ocean? He's from Trinidad. It's not uh, not that close, but uh, closer to uh, Saint Lucia. We won't be cooking Trinidad uh, until the New Year. So uh, let me get some salt in here, and then we'll just get that ready, and then we'll move on. Okay, the lid goes on. And it goes and sits over here until 7.15 when I'm going to turn that sucker on because it takes half an hour, I guess, to do its deal. So back to the stove. Okay. Before we start rudely interrupted. Uh, okay, we're going with adding stuff. So let me get my camera ready and my spatula ready because we're going in uh, succession. First, we're adding our celery. Yes. So celery goes in. And uh, then uh, in goes our onion. Ooh, sorry about the white balance. Uh, 
And then we're adding our green bell pepper. Green bell pepper right there. Uh, then what? Um, then we are uh, stirring this and uh, turning the heat down and letting it cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. So it's going to be uh, six, uh, like 6.55. So uh, we're basically letting the, uh, the onions and peppers and celery kind of soften some. Uh, let me get this out of the way. By the way, if you haven't already... Signs by Caesar, Meerkat Signs. You follow on Twitter, follow on uh, here on Meerkat. You can follow on Tumblr, on Pinterest, on Instagram. We're on all of the, all of the above. You can see the blogs posted every Wednesday. Uh, pictures and links to all the video uh, to the clips, uh, video clips in case you missed any part and you want to see any of that again. Um, also uh, trivia about the country at cliffyland.com. You can follow on Twitter at cliffyland also. So there's your. A little plug right there. So, softening this is again for a Creole sauce that uh, we are making that's going to uh, be served with shrimp. I uh, got us some fresh caught Carolina jumbo shrimp to go with this. And it's going to go over rice. And if there's time, uh, I'm going to cook up some plantains. You know what? Since this is going to take a couple minutes, uh, uh, keep an eye on the time. Uh, I'm going to get the deep fryer uh, got going. So, uh, move my prep around. They're using up every plug here. Sino bueno. Okay. I don't even want you to see this. You go watch the stove. This could be embarrassing. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, deep fryer. Uh, secondhand gift from mother who did not use it because she doesn't cook, and so she said, here, you take it. So now I got me a deep fryer. Um, and uh, so we're going to preheat this to 375. I hate having it sitting there, but uh, some things can't be avoided. Because um, when it's bubbling at a certain heat, it scares me, but uh, that's what it is. 375 it is, so there we go. Hello, thank you. And Marie, thank you for the uh, follow. Um, you're not that girl, are you? You probably get that all the time. I apologize. It's like when the whole fiscal cliff thing was happening. Everyone thought they were so cute coming up to me going, Oh, fiscal cliff, huh? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them make it stop. So, I, I, sh I shouldn't do things with people's names, but, you know, you just can't help it. I knew a woman, poor woman's name was Rhonda. I felt so bad for her. Um... Oh, by the way, thank you for the restream, John. I didn't see that there. Um, thank you for liking the restream very much, uh, in case I did not say so before. Um, so, we're heating that up there. Oh, thank you for the restream, Anne-Marie. Thank you. See, on that girl, I never understood that Marie was her last name, so it confused me. It confused me a lot, and they did a whole episode about that. Um... Which made me wonder why they named the character that, if it was going to be confusing in the first place, but, you know. I guess it served to educate people, right? So, we're softening our onions, celery, and green bell pepper um, here. This is oddly, they asked to do it on a kind of a low heat, which strikes me as a little strange. Okay, uh, let me get my pen so I can mark off where I am here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get my garlic here. Who? What's what's cooking? What we are cooking? We are doing a uh, Creole sauce uh, from Saint Lucia, uh, into which we'll add shrimp. So it's gonna be a shrimp Creole. It's gonna be served on a bed of rice, and then I guess I've committed myself to also cooking 
uh, plantain chips. So, uh, making my own plantain chips. <clears throat> Here on a Thursday. Thursday, not my usual night. Tuesday is my usual night. Um, but now I'm doing two and sometimes even three nights. Uh, I may also cook something, because I found all these great recipes. Um, found these, uh, so I may cook on Sunday also. I'm seeing how things go. Um, and then definitely on Tuesday. Uh, I'm still debating what to make. Because one of the things is, um, if you saw last week I cooked with breadfruit. And, um, that's to be the second time I cooked with breadfruit. And the first time when I cooked breadfruit, it was a little, um, overripe. So it just really wasn't ripe. And then the last time, I think it was underripe, which was the opposite problem. And then it became underripe and sort of undercooked. So, um, there's a, well, the first time I did it was a dish for, um, a Grenada. That's a breadfruit. And, um, this one dish that I'm thinking of doing is sort of, um, a dish for kind of the whole Caribbean from Dominican Republic to Grenada to Guyana, which is on South American continent, but has more in common with the British Caribbean than South America. And, uh, it's basically a stuffed breadfruit, breadfruit stuffed with like minced meat and stuff and baked. Um, even my mom was like, oh yes, we eat that all the time in Puerto Rico. And I never did. Um, so I think I screwed it up when I, if, if I tried it for Grenada, I think I screwed it up. Then there's a thing called roti, because um, just like Guyana, um, St. Lucia has the same sort of issue that um, when after slavery was abolished by the British, um, they still needed, you know, cheap labor, as it were. Um, so they started in, in, uh, bringing in uh, basically migrant workers from India who wound up settling and staying. Uh, so like in Fiji, like in Guyana, and then here in St. Lucia, we have the situation where India uh, has influenced the food of places in the Western Hemisphere um, or all the way out in the Pacific in the case of Fiji, um, which is really interesting. So there's a thing called roti, which is sort of like a Indian bread, but it's sort of like the, what they do is they stuff it with stuff. Uh, and I think I tried that for Guyana and I did not succeed. But uh, I might, I don't, I try not to do things more than once, but um, I did really screw up badly with Guyana. So maybe I'll try it, you know, with uh, St. Saint, Saint Lucia since it's a thing there. I don't know. Okay, I think we're at time here. We're going to add our garlic. So it's our chopped garlic that we have here. So let us get that going in here. To the soothing tunes of Shaka Khan. Not from St. Lucia. You know, St. Lucia has, I think, one or more than one Nobel Prize winners. Yes, they do. Um, so we're going to turn the heat up. Oh, did I take a picture of that? I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, so we're turning the heat up here to the... It says medium-high. And my stove... Yeah. Okay, so we're adding the garlic medium-high. And uh, now we're gonna start adding some more stuff. So let's get doing all that. We're adding our, adding our tomato, our chopped tomato right here. Uh, adding our scallions. Scallions here. Hope you can see that, right? I mean, you can hit the thingy. Uh, I'm gonna read your thing in a minute. Um, the, or habanero pepper. Again, it said to use much less, but I'm going, it said to use a scotch bonnet, but I chopped up the habanero and I'm using the whole one, so wish me luck. We like the spicy food, what can I say? Um, the tomato sauce, in lieu of the recipe suggestion of uh, chicken broth, uh, my, uh, friend with a mom from St. Lucia said her mom always made it with tomato sauce, so that's what we're doing. Tomato sauce. Let's get as much of that out there as we can. 
and I'm sure the next thing is, oh yes, the Worcestershire, Worc Worc Worcestershire, Worcestershire sheer sauce, right here, I'll read your comment in a moment there, uh, Worcestershire sauce, and uh, then uh, the bay leaf, bay leaf right there, uh, our sprigs of thyme, Time, time, time. Time won't give me time. Um, da, 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 our butter, here's the weird part. It says to add butter, our butter here, so we're adding our whole, you know, two tablespoons of butter. Right there. Uh, our tomato paste. So we got our tomato paste right here. Do, do, do. Ah, kick, kick, kick. So, Oh, I need to take a picture of that, don't I? Okay, tomato paste. And always, always a challenge to get that off the spoon. Okay. And you go there. And uh, what's next? Salt. So our quarter teaspoon of salt right there. Yeah. Yeah, Weird Al Yankovic really just screams St. Lucia, doesn't he? Okay, so now we're going to stir the sucker up. Okay, uh, I broke my glass top stove accidentally, dropped the handle of my 7-liter cast iron pot. Oh no, but I'm getting a new one top there. Warning not to use the cast iron. What's cooking? Greetings from Sweden. Hello from Sweden, my goodness. Thank you, uh, Justin, for the like and restream. Uh, cast iron. Um, so yeah, that scares me. People keep talking about cast iron, and I'm just getting obsessed with the possibilities of cast iron, though I have no idea where I would possibly store a big old cast iron stove. Um, but yeah, if that's going to break stuff, then that's a whole other situation. So, I'm sorry that happened to you. Uh, what's cooking? We are cooking a Creole sauce uh, from St. Lucia, uh, to which we'll be adding uh, shrimp. So it'll be a shrimp Creole, and it's going to be served on top of rice. And um, also, I guess I've committed myself to making some plantain chips. Uh, have you ever had plantain chips? They're quite tasty. Uh, Sweden, are you in Stockholm? Um, uh, I mean, Stockholm is the only city that I know, even though I used to have a, a customer slash pen pal who lived way in the way in the north of Sweden. Um, so, uh, stir, bring to a boil. That's what we're doing. Now we're turning down the heat for 25 minutes. And uh, and we're keeping the lid just slightly on, just slightly, you know, to get a little bit of uh, reduction here. Uh, that's the idea here. So, uh, and that's for 25 minutes, right? So, set timer for 25 minutes. I said 25, not 35. Okay, good. Uh, alrighty, so while that does that, it's thing. Let us move back over here and uh, let's see about these plantains, shall we? Um, I guess I'm going to need the bowl after all. Uh, it's a green plantain, but this one is a little riper. So I got that one screenshot. Um, so uh, we're going to make chips out of this and you can make them thin this way or a long ways. We're at Gotland Island on the East Coast. East Coast. So you're sort of facing Finland and the Baltic Sea and Estonia and all that. Um, uh, are you like south, more towards Denmark? Uh, um, I don't have a map in front of me and I have not mastered Swedish geography that well. Although I can draw a whole map of Scandinavia uh, with my finger just by hand, like, you know, almost pretty accurately just from memory. Um, this little game on uh, the iPad that uh, draw something thing and they had a whole thing with countries and I would just love drawing the maps because I just sit there with my finger I'm like okay Estonia, Bal Baltic Sea, Denmark, Islands, you know which is fun. Um, another weird skill I have. Okay, plantain. Knife. Cutting, peeling plantain. 
uh, the trick on this uh, is that sometimes they uh, are hard to peel. And also, it said to make the chips, you want to make the... Since you're making chips, you need to make them very, very thin. This may have been a little riper than I should have, but it's what I got. Uh, maybe I made the wrong choice. See, when the, they ripen, they get sweeter. Yes, good! Okay, glad. Glad I got that. You know, a friend of mine uh, just came, they had a cruise. We wanted to take it with them, and they wanted to take it without us, but we didn't have the time. Uh, but they went through uh, Saint, uh, the, uh, Stockholm and, um, was it Hamburg? And, uh, Copenhagen, Hamburg, Stockholm, uh, Tallinn, uh, St. Petersburg, uh, and back. Um, so, uh, it sounded lovely, and I'm sorry I missed it. Okay, the idea is to make this really, cut this really, really, really thin, like chips. And to accomplish that, um, one suggestion was to use the mandolin. I do not tend to have good luck with the mandolin. Maybe it's because I have a really cheap one when I bought when I didn't think I'd be needing such a thing. Uh, that seems too thin. That seems... Maybe that's thick enough? Well, we're gonna we're gonna make chips, so we're gonna get my hands all slimy here. Let's see how this goes. It says you can make them lengthwise, um, but uh, I, I don't trust myself on that. Uh, well, they are a little chippy, I guess. Okay, I've got 21 minutes to pull this off. Any way to angle phone down a bit? Yes, thank you. Yes, any any uh, feedback like that is most welcome. There. There. Thank you for uh, that. Yes, I always need that kind of feedback, because uh, sometimes I'm not... Uh, especially with the comments on the bottom, I'm just focusing on that more than on myself. It's ugly mug. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we are getting chips out of this. What do you know? Uh, I apologize to the people saying Lucia for running out of your music. Um, don't have that much Calypso in my, uh, but I have to save it because I'm trying to do stuff that's native to each country, but some countries not so easy, not so easy at all. I'm going to wind up hurting my hand is what I'm going to do. Don't want that to happen. There. There's a sharp edge. It is okay to throw away a piece that you don't need. Okay. Back to you. Chip, chip, chip. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, chip, chip. One chip, one cheeseburger. Okay. This is actually the first, I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise. This is the first time I'm making this. Um, watch your thumb. Yeah, I know. Um, I have the thingy for it, but that's more for an onion. And if this has got a, like a handle. Um, but yeah. I'm going to wind up using that before too long. This is because it's very slimy. But you know, it's a plantain, what do you expect? It's like slicing a banana. Because it is like a banana. Oh, and another dish I'm thinking of for Tuesday. Um, which would be fine if I wasn't doing live vlogging like this. Is, um, uh, a stew. Because, uh, so many countries that have these great stews, and I would love cooking stews. Uh, but the problem with the stews, in terms of this, is that you cook it and then you let it sit for 25 minutes and let it sit for like an hour. And that uh, doesn't make for really good uh, internet television there. Martha, thank you for the like and restream. Um, uh, if I don't use the whole plantain, I think that's going to be okay. So far, so good. They are very thin, which I guess is the goal. And there's no way I could have put that, pulled that off with just the knife, I tell you. Not good at that, so. Uh, you know what, here, I think I'm gonna switch to that thing uh, to save my hands. Okay, where are you? Where are you? You're here somewhere.
Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, um, again, we are listening to 1985. I apologize if that brings back bad memories for some people. Uh, this is not built for banana, I tell you. Oh my god, this is this is awkward. It's got well hold on this way. Okay, grasp, slide. Oh my god, this is not built for banana or plantain. Oh my god, this is a mess. Mess, 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 mess. Okay, let's clean that out. How about we do that, eh? Okay, let's see if this goes a little better this time. Help me. Uh, wow, this is really awkward. I almost sliced my hand on that one. Hey, it is getting through, sort of, kind of. All of the things you do for chips. My uh, oil is uh, fried, so that's good. Come on, let go. Ow! Let go. I did not cut my hand. I did not cut my hand. But I could still yet. You never know. Night's so young. Oh boy, this is mushy. This is, I should have gotten a greener plantain. I really should have. This is like slicing a banana thinly. It is. I'm gonna make believe that's it. That's it, I give up. That's enough. One last batch to cook. Hold that thought. Okay, whoop de doo So that looks like a, a fair amount of chips. I mean, they are kind of lumped in. I really should have gotten a greener plantain, but I've never made plantain chips before, so um, I'm sure they're all gonna be stuck together. Uh, oh well, we're gonna have probably a lump of fried plantain is what's gonna end, end up happening. Um, I have 15 more minutes on cooking that. Oh, nuts. Uh, I'm gonna go plug in my um, rice cooker now. Hopefully uh, everything will finish at the same time. So uh, getting the rice cooker, which is sitting right here. Ruba, ruba. And uh, running out of plugs. So rice cooker goes on. And uh, this time I'm gonna learn to hit the cook button, which I forgot before, because I'm really smart. Okay, um, now, um, cozy group. Um, thank you for the, uh, uh, Su Susie, Susie, thank you for the like and restream. We are cooking, um, well here are, these are going to try to be plantain chips. First try at that, this is just, that was very impromptu, the decision to make for plantain chips. And, um, and over there we have a Creole sauce, which shrimp is going to go into um, in not too much longer. And we have some time uh, before that's ready. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, because I, um, I'm waiting for that to, to cook. And uh, it's a Shutter Dad. Thank you for the like and restream. Uh, so I'm just gonna clean up here just while I wait for that. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, we're cooking a Creole, sauce with shrimp. We're going to be adding shrimp to it shortly. Love those. Uh, oh, the plantain chips. Yes. Um, I, I was saying before that I, uh, when I was buying my stuff, I saw the, um, 
the plantain chips, a bag of plantain chips, and I thought, oh, I'll just serve those on the thing, and then I thought, you know, I should make them myself, and there's probably time, um, because it's, you know, I'm only doing one real dish here, so, um, but I did, never having made it before, I think I, I goofed by getting a plantain that was too ripe, but I was afraid it would be too hard to, to peel, so I kind of overcompensated, which kind of happens a lot around here. Um, still debating what to make. Uh, I think I'm cooking on Sunday night and on Tuesday. Definitely Tuesday. Probably Sunday. Um, but I'm deciding what to make. Uh, there's a roti, which I was saying is sort of like an Indian bread, which uh, is stuff like burrito style, but like a cone, and you fill it with the meat and stuff. And I, try, I think I made the bread, I tried to make the bread for um, Guyana, and uh, it wasn't fluffy, because um, I have yeast problems. Um, but uh, I'll leave that one right there. Um, the, come back. Uh, so um, I may give another shot at making the roti, uh, because this time it's uh, stuffed or something, or, and or, um, there's a stuffed breadfruit. I made breadfruit uh, last week for um, St. Kitts and Nevis, and you know, I can make the trip down to the international market um, as much as I don't like making the trip because uh, that's the one place that has breadfruit, or at least they did the last time I went looking. So, um, and uh, you guys uh, weren't familiar with breadfruit when I cooked it uh, last week, so hey. You can see uh, the versatile uses of breadfruit. Um, this breadfruit dish is uh, basically hollowed out because the, the breadfruit is large, sort of like a coconut size. And um, it, uh, you take out the core. And then, uh, I mean, after you peel it, you take out the core and then you fill it with a minced meat that you've cooked on the stove. And then you bake it. And that's really a Caribbean favorite from Dominican Republic all the way down to um, Trinidad and Guyana. So uh, I saw that on the list of dishes for Dominican Republic, and I saw on the list of dishes for Grenada, and I saw on the list of dishes for, you know, other stuff, and my mom says that she, it's one of her favorites, though I've never seen her eat it. Hey, Diane, thank you for liking Restream. Um, so uh, I'm thinking of making that. Uh, does, anyone, does anyone have any personal experience with St. Lucia? I think I, I think I got negatory answer uh, or, or crickets on that one when I asked before. Um, was, uh, I, you know, I went uh, on a cruise there for a day. It was lovely. People were very nice. And uh, again, if you're new, oh, uh, fruits and fudge, yummy. Okay, thank you, Susie. Um, do, do you have experience in St. Lucia? Is that your way of telling me? Um, I have a... Uh, Again, if you're just joining us, the uh, shrimp and creole sauce that we're making over here behind you while we're waiting for another nine minutes is um, sort of in honor of uh, a late family friend who she uh, was born and raised in St. Lucia and her daughter, who is my friend, I asked her is there anything specific that your mom loved and made uh, from St. Lucia? I'd like to do something in her honor. And she said this, and she sent me this uh, link to the recipe. And uh, she said, the difference is that I, uh, my mom wouldn't make it with um, chicken broth, as this recipe suggested. Instead, uh, she made it with uh, tomato sauce, so that's what we're doing. And she said she put shrimp on it, so that also is what we're doing. So... Uh, we've got all this time to clean, so the husband's gonna come back and he'll be so surprised that there's nothing for me to clean, which is nice. Um, and it gives us a chance to catch up. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Whew. So, let's see how that, uh, let's go in as soon as I put this away. Ah. And, uh... Do, do, do. Anybody have big plans for the weekend? I think we're going to go to Miami. Uh, see the folks. There's a play. I'm just babbling here telling you stories so, while I'm waiting. So if you can put up with it, you know. Hey, 
Um, by the way, let's take a look and see how this is doing. We'll switch you around. Okay, down to you. So let's see, how thickened is this getting? A little bit, a little bit. It's getting thicker. Very, very tomatoey, very thick. And thanks to that habanero pepper, I hope very spicy. Okay, still got another eight minutes on that one. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of uh, Tinder Miami. The, uh, anyone have a Miami connection? It's my hometown. Uh, heading for Martha's Vineyard. Oh, that should be nice. Uh, I was, uh, that's where the, I mean, that's where the pre person vacation and stuff and Carly Simon, the whole thing, and then the storm hit and it's beautiful and I've never been. But is that the same as Hyannis Port? Or is Hyannis Port there or is that, or is that a different place? Um, there's a reason I ask that that would head into a story here that I have. Uh, God, I'm off this vineyard. I assumed that the weather would be really nice now and not really horrible. Because when I was in Provincetown 24, 5 years ago, it was like 102 degrees, so no. So it's different. Okay. The, uh, yeah. No, because I was in, um, once upon a time, long, long time ago, I was a reporter. And, uh, and I reported on a variety of people and stuff. And then I got an invitation in the mail to go to the Kennedy compound for a family picnic. And I lost my mind. I had no, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be hanging out with like, you know, Rose Kennedy and holy cow. Um, that'd be bizarre. John, John. And um, I was like, what, how, what, how, what? And I showed this to my dad, who loathed, loathed the Kennedys. And even he was like, oh my God, you have to go. And I was thinking, but I, you know, I lived in D.C. I had no way to get there. I didn't know, you know, anyone to talk to there. So I didn't go. I wasted the opportunity of a lifetime to hang out with the Kennedys. So, interesting. Martha's Vineyard. Do you know Carly Simon? Do you get to see her? Does she walk by and go by on her bicycle? Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're going to Miami. There was, um, so I have this thing for history and whatever, which you probably can guess from my whole babbling here. And uh, being, Miami is a city that has history but hates its history and ignores it and wants to tear it all down. A friend of mine owns a marketing firm in Miami. I used to live there. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. We're in Miami. Uh, like I said, I'm merging from there, and we're about two hours, an hour, hour and a half, two hours north, um, depending where you're going. But uh, the city kind of hates its history and decides, if things older than 20 years old, it wants to tear it down. And so uh, my parents are going to be in Puerto Rico for a while. This is a couple years ago. And um, so we're going to take some friends down and do a tour of sort of historical Miami. And I went looking for the oldest restaurants in the city. Now, if you lived in Boston or something, you'd know you'd have like 200-year-old restaurant. But there, there's a bar which allegedly was 100 years old. Allegedly. Um, and, and then there's a couple other restaurants that have been around. Coral, that's, that's, that's my hometown. That is my hometown. That Coral Gables is my heart. So that is very cool. Wow. Um, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. In any case, so these restaurants... Uh, and so I made a plan to take a week, uh, weekend, and we we're going to go hit these different, you know, restaurants that have been around for, you know, 50, 60, 100 years, and like do one this day, and we're going to learn lunch and afternoon or whatever, and we didn't get to because a horrible thing happened. And so we postponed it. 